wish that team was sitting here waiting for you. What did you think of the effort coming off? Three games in four days. Yeah, it was great. Um, thought we got off to a great start. Um, fell a little behind there in the second half of that first period, but um, I think coming back in the second, we knew we had a lot better. Um, we just kept pushing. Uh, great job by our kill as well, D-man and forwards, just being connected. But just overall, five and five is the same thing as well. What did you see on your pass there, the yarn clip there in the first? Um, saw coming over the blue line with space. Um, you know, I tried to see if I could slow the play down a little bit, draw someone towards me. Um, if not, you know, trying to see if anyone would open up. And um, Johnny drove to the net. Gio was coming late, kind of drew one to the net, one high, and Kylie kind of found that soft spot in the, the backside there and um, was able to find him. Well, sort of David Comp's line starting the game and then the second period really put Philly on their heels. It seemed. Yeah, um, that line's been a force to be reckoned with for quite a while now. Um, three guys that, you know, just are hounds on the puck, um, get around the net very well. Um, obviously with Dave, just so responsible defensively and, and makes great plays offensively as well and snaps back a lot of draws and um, the other two are just guys that can really skate, get up the ice, um, make plays when they get the puck and you know get into battles. So um, they've been great for us the last couple weeks. Your thoughts on the halfway point of the season? Though? Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, we still want to improve on some things of just bringing it every night, make sure it's the same consistency. But um, you know, I think we're happy with where we're at and we're happy that uh, we know we still got better and we're in a good spot. What, is, what do you think has allowed Cali to fit in so well since he came back from that coin injury and, and just kind of really hasn't lost a step? Um, I mean, he's always just been speedy, quick on his feet, um, can make plays when he gets open ice. So, um, you know, he's, he's done that for us. But at the same time, he's not afraid to get to the net, um, you know, draw people towards him. So um, he's, he's done a great job in all those regards. Connor Timmons has been with three teams over four years, 53 games. Finally gets his first NHL goal. Were you guys aware of it when it happened? I wasn't. I thought he had one, to be honest. But, um, I mean, I think Timmy, when he's been in our lineup, has made some unbelievable plays, um, some some really great plays to get us going through the neutral zone, finding the middle guy a lot. Um, you know, he's been getting up in the ice and, and finding holes that he can make plays. Um, that first shift, I think, for us, he found me that backside there. It kind of just bobbled on me a little bit. But it was a great look by him. And it seems like he's been doing that almost every game he's been played with us. So um, it's great that... Uh, he got that first one. I'm sure he's very happy about it, and we're happy about it as well as his teammates. Cool. How does that feel? Yeah, it's a pretty great feeling. Um, he's made a great play on the uh, pull up, and uh, it's nice to see one go in. You were you were hurt for a little bit there. What happened? Uh, I just got the wind knocked out of me. I was fine. Yeah. It was something. I think it was 53 NHL games over four seasons with three teams. Was it something you were thinking about it to pop into your head that? You haven't, didn't get one, then he finally comes? Yeah, I think I was squeezing my stick a little on some opportunities after the first 30 games, but um, yeah, I just had to shoot more pucks, and luckily that one went in, so it was a nice feeling. With the fully healthy lineup, you kind of had to sit out for a little bit. What did you learn from that time with the development staff? Something that allowed you to kind of come back and not miss a step? I'm just trying to make the most of every day. Um, obviously, there's opportunity to get better every day, and with all the resources we have in the organization, um, there's a, a lot of opportunities. So um, I've just been trying to work as hard as I can and be ready when I do come in. How did you picture your first NHL goal when you, you know, were younger, imagining this moment? <laughs> Probably a little nicer, maybe like a highlight reel play, but um, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. So it was nice. Who's getting the puck? Um, I don't know. I'll probably just send it back home to my parents and let them do something with it. Do you have it yet? Um, I think the trainers have it. Do you think, like, I think John was the one who noticed right away and grabbed it. Did your teammates know that this was your first? Like, he knew, but how aware were they it was your first? I don't think too many of them knew, obviously. Like, like it's been said, I've been around. I've been three different teams and been playing for a while now. So um, I think everyone just assumed I already had it. So <laughs> I had to tell some people. <laughs> How, how early did you get an indication you might get back into the lineup tonight? Sheldon was kind of talking about how some guys are kind of banged up that it might free up opportunity for someone like you. Um, yeah, I found out uh, this morning, so uh, that's when I when I knew. You guys find that energy tonight. You guys played last night, but uh, you came out right off the bat. David's line started it, and you guys like you were finishing it up tonight. Yeah, uh, we had a yeah, like I said, great start, and then uh, we kind of. Kind of stop playing there halfway through the through the first, uh, inviting them back into the game. Uh, but at the end, we, we did a great job. Six two win on a on a back to back, which uh, great job by us. Did you expect Mitch would find you on that goal there? Well, when he's got the puck, you gotta you gotta expect everything. Uh, obviously, that was a it was a great pass by him. What do you think's allowed you to kind of? fit in so well on that line. You, you, you were away for a while, you came back, but it doesn't look like you've kind of lost a step in that in that spot playing with guys like Mitch and, and John. 
Thank you. I mean, that's that's good. Right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just trying to, to play my game, uh, try to work as as hard as I can and create some space for, for those two. You mentioned you had an injury that was kind of bothering you for a bit when you came back. Did you feel like it kind of helped you come back and be the player you wanted to be? Yeah, and I mean, uh, obviously playing with playing with that line helps too. Uh, get some more get some more ice time, and you know it's easier to get get into the games as well. Kelly, I think you're on pace for a career high points, goals across the board, despite the time that you missed. Did you always believe that you had this kind of offensive potential? In you? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm you know I'm just happy to to play on that line right now, and you know just happy to be here. And if I have a career year, that's that would be great. How about that play on the uh, penalty kill there? Was that just kind of a set play off the face off in a short offensive zone situation there? That's yeah, you know, uh, you saw the shot he had, had right just, just before that. Uh, yeah. It was a bomb in the hit the crossbar. Uh, so we just tried to, to get him another chance and he, he scored. John, that team was sitting there waiting for you. Uh, what did you think of the team's effort? Yeah, uh, a little bit of a mixed bag in the first for us. Uh, you know, come out with a lot, of, a lot of good jump and created some opportunities and, and grabbed the lead. Um, the back half of the period, I don't think uh, we loved uh, the way we kind of let them uh, build some momentum. Um, but uh, in saying that, I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, the rest of the night kind of continuing uh, to check and defend well when we had to, when we had some breakdowns and, and make it difficult for them to uh, really create a lot of opportunities and, and then generate our own um, just through good execution and um, making plays when they're there. So, um, yeah, overall, good job. Mer was solid. So, um, obviously, a uh, good two days for us. You were the one that noticed, I think, that it was Connor Timmons' first goal and you grabbed the puck. What do you think it means to him to, to reach that milestone? It's uh, special. You never forget your first. Uh, you know, it's uh, obviously incredible once you get the opportunity to play in the league. But then, uh, um, you know, to say you scored at, uh, at the NHL in the NHL is uh, always a special feeling and, and a great one. And I think it was the winner. So, um, you know, even added bonus there. Did you, did you know it was his first? He told he told me. I can't take credit for that. So, <laughs> yeah, I think he wanted he wanted that puck, which uh, uh, I don't blame him. I wanted mine too. So uh, it was great for him. And what do you make of Cali Arncroke's game since that little layoff he had with an injury? He was on your line before the injury happened. Yeah. Do you find he's been more comfortable in that start? Than he does now? I, I, I think just all year he's been really solid for us in a lot of different areas. And obviously he's got some really good production. And, and uh, you know, he's just really consistent with his play. You know what to expect from him every night. And obviously uh, when the opportunities are there, he's got a good nose for, uh, um, you know, making plays and finishing plays off. So um, you just see a really good, solid, complete game for him and, and someone who, uh, Maybe it doesn't jump out at you, uh, but just make, like I said, just a steady and consistent night in, night out. And, and uh, um, anytime you play with a player like that, uh, um, it creates great predictability for you and, and understanding what uh, you have to do. And, and obviously, to um, you know, you know, use your ability to play off that and, and um, you know, have that consistency. Like I said, is is uh, huge for anyone. Halfway point of your schedule, your thoughts looking back and looking ahead to the next forty-one. Yeah, I am. Um, I think there's no doubt. Uh, it was in November and you know early mid part of December. You know we're playing at an extremely high level. Uh, we've had some uh, you know ups and downs uh, other courses of the year. So um, you know we want to continue to be ramping up, and there's going to be obviously more challenges ahead. And maybe when things don't go your, go, go your way and whatnot, but uh, we want to keep pushing here and, and finding uh, another not, you know more levels to our game and different parts of our game. So, uh, but overall, we've put ourselves in a pretty good spot. And now it's uh, you know up to us to continue to uh, take advantage of the second half of the year and, and go out there and earn it. Shall we? Talk about your energy level tonight. Started with comps line right off the bat. You guys pressed it, kept it up most of the night. Yeah, I thought our start was was really good. Um, really liked, you know, that caps line was really really strong for us. And you know, I'm not sure what they had to show for it offensively, but to me, they they were really good at setting up uh, other lines for success and carrying play and kind of wearing down their team a little bit. So I thought that was really good. I thought. You know, we made good in a lot of our chances and got, obviously scored scored a bunch of goals and that put us in a good spot in the game. I didn't think we had our best game by any means. Uh, relied on our goaltender probably too much, but he was terrific and that's really the story of the game for me is how he played. But uh, all considered here, it's been a tough stretch for us here this week, our fourth game this week, and, and uh, to get the good results is nice. Do you have an update on TJ Brody? 
Yeah, he's just day to day. He's had, he's been dealing with something here that he's been playing through for quite a while. It's just kind of lingered, and and uh, we have the opportunity here now with the day off to, for him today. You know, we don't play again. You know, until uh, until Wednesday after this. So we thought just giving him the extra day now to get three days essentially to recover that it could set him up well. So I thought it made sense to give him the day today. Is it related to what he was dealing with before? Or is it something brand new? Something new, yeah. What do you make of uh, how Connor Timmins was able to kind of step in there and pick up his first NHL goal? That's great. He made plays. He does. He you know he did what he does, uh, which is nice. You know, despite you know sitting some games out here, he. he Goes back in the lineup, moves the puck really well, shows up on the sheet, uh, on the scoring sheet that is, and, and uh, yeah, to see him get rewarded with his with his goal, which actually I didn't even know was his first NHL goal. Obviously, he was first with us, but uh, yeah, great for him. He's been terrific for us, and he's you know he's played well. He's done what we've asked of, uh, of him in terms of the work uh, to put in on his game. You know, we we told him he was going to come out of the lineup, but we wanted him to work hard this week and, and stay focused and comes in here on the back-to-back -back as one of our fresh guys and I thought made, made an impact so that was great to see. How about Kelly Yarncroke and how he's kind of fit in on that second line since coming back in mid-December from his injury and really doesn't look like he's lost so much of a step from yeah. the layoff that he had. Before. Yeah, no, he's, 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 so he's played a lot better for us since he's come back from the injury. I think, I think the time with the injury uh, really helped him, you know, just get really comfortable here, you know, when you you come into a new team and you kind of you know, arrive shortly before training camp and then things are moving real fast and you know you got a young family and stuff uh, and your new team, new organization, new teammates, all that. It takes some time. I think the injury actually really helped sort of settle things down, allowed him some time to get comfortable, allowed him some time to really just you know work at his game. And I think since he's come back he's been terrific and he compliments those guys well like we talked about last night. He does a good job defensively, and you know, puck comes to him, he can make a play on it. And uh, you know, when he's the trigger guy, he has the ability to finish. So we like those qualities about him, and he did a terrific job on the penalty kill tonight as well. You reached the first half of the schedule. Your thoughts, and can maybe something on looking ahead to the, to the next half. To yeah, to yeah, it's a good, it's a good checkpoint, but it's a nice reminder that there's lots of hockey to play. I mean, it's 41 games. You know, anytime you get to this point. Um, you know, you feel like it's been a lot of hockey, yet there's still ha still half a uh, season to go. So lots can occur in that time. That's why we'll enjoy this win tonight, enjoy a day off tomorrow, and then just get back to work. It's another busy week ahead.